The end of May is here and so is graduation. With all of this excitement and hope for the future, parents are proud of their child's accomplishments, but they could be experiencing a bittersweet range of emotions as they deal with what all this really means. Our parenting contributor, Belinda Palacios, in to help uh, all of you parents out, uh, help, help them survive graduation. It's a doozy. You've been through it. You know. I've, I've been through it. And, you know, um, there's a lot of emotions that come with it. You're glad to see it here, but at the same time, you start remembering, think, how did it get here so fast? Yeah. You know, kids are becoming adults. Um, they're moving out of the house. They may, may be moving to different areas, you know, once yeah. July, August hits. Uh, they're establishing themselves without the family. This whole move toward independence. It's exactly. And so, you know, and they're making independent decisions, decisions that, you know, that you kind of sit and go, ooh, I, I hope they do the right thing. But it's time for them to pick that ball up and run with it themselves. Okay, so um, they're going to be doing that. So um, help us parents out. Uh, the, five things the five things to survive the season. You know, first is expect this to be a roller coaster season. Okay. There's joy with it, but at the same time, there's panic. There's an overwhelmingness to it. It's just a mix mash of so many things. And expect this to come often uh, because it, and, and, and yeah. a multitude of them. Well, the good thing is you're not alone. There are nope. parents all over the world that have to experience the same thing. That's correct. And especially, you know, if you've, you know, with your classmates, parents, you know. So you're not the only one going through this. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably a good idea to keep your sense of humor. Too. Absolutely, because laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> it is, and when for stressful situations, and this season is full of it, because you've got family coming in, you've got a multitude of events that yeah. you're having to go to, and all the time that that takes, and then there's like, you know, graduation gifts that are all coming at once. Parties, everything else. Uh, we've got some friends that their daughter is having a graduation party for her friends, graduating and then having a graduation party with her family. Yeah. Like, but this, apparently graduation parties are a big thing. Uh, <laughs> They're a big I, thing, but just know that nothing is going to go perfectly. It's not. There's going to yeah. be hiccups along the way and just take them as they come. Celebrate the moment. So, and that's part of celebrating the moment. Take time to slow down and to really enjoy it because the, you know, you have the inclination to just go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. And you miss what's going on around you. So slow down, really reflect on what's going on, and enjoy and, and be proud about what's happening. And a little bit of planning can yeah. go a long way here. If you plan ahead, you, it's, it really amounts to a, a lot of less yeah. stress. And this is, this is, you know, with your children, when they're, if they're leaving for the military, if they're leaving to just go to work somewhere, or if they're going to college, mm -hmm. really start planning about, okay, what you need to have, what you're going to take, what you're going to pack, what you're going to leave behind, instead of trying to do that all in, like, the last week. And while you're trying to do all that, and, and you're nervous about the kids, foster that independence that we talked about early on. That's right. You know, it's time, like I said at the beginning, is that it's time for them to pick up the ball. They're going to have to make decisions mm -hmm. about their lives. You know, when kids go to school, school's not going to talk to you as a parent. No. They're going to talk directly to your child. And so, you know, unless you get the... The, the password <laughs> to their, you know, where their grades and stuff are, you're probably going to be out of the loop. So you have to trust them. You have to instill no. in them that they are capable, that they can do this. Uh, but also, you know, uh, be there for a sounding board when they need it because they're going to. There's going to be a lot of questions along this way because this transition is tough. Very good. All right, we've got a parenting challenge. Let's do that mm -hmm. before we go to break. You know, prepare your child for what's going to come ahead and that it's going to be stressful and that it's not going to be perfect and that things are going to happen. And help, you know, help them kind of maneuver through that, but stand back and start letting them go. Now, do let them know that, look, I'm a phone call, I'm a text, I'm a FaceTime away. Yeah. If you run into a really, you know, lurch, give me a call. But other than that, you know, you've done your job. All right. That's some good advice. That's, that's something you can take with you into this weekend. Belinda, thank right. you so much. Stay tuned. It's time to head into the kitchen. We're